Hello students, I'm the OG Guru, Dr. Puneet Bhojani and I just thought I'll give you some important tips for the next 24 to 48 hours which will really be helpful to all of you. Point number one, please don't think of uncontrollables. What is not in your hand, please don't waste time thinking about it because you know there are two sessions. What if first session is difficult? What if second session is easy? Will I get easy session? Will I get difficult? No. Most of the time they try to balance both the papers and again similarly don't waste your time thinking how will the normalization done? What will be the formula applied? What all things are not in our hand? Let us not waste time in that. It's the first important message which I want to give all of you. Okay, now coming to the actual examination day, as you know, there will be sections, so you will get blocks uh, and certain uh, block might be difficult, certain sections might be easy. You will get around uh, 42 minutes to answer 40 MCQs. Of course, when you read, certain will be one-liners, try to mark them quickly, but of course, don't make a mistake in reading the questions. And also put up a video on how in OBGY commonly students make mistake that they are not reading the weeks of gestation, they are not reading the fetal heart rate and mistakes are happening. So don't please make a mistake in reading the question. Certain questions will be small, certain will be long clinical case scenarios. Overall, try your best to finish the section in say 35 to 36 to 37 minutes time so that you get 4-5 minutes to review the questions which you have marked for review and because after 42 minutes your section will automatically stop and the new section questions or the new block will start. Okay, coming to how many questions to mark is of course no fixed rule. It all depends on how the paper is and how the risk taking appetite is. But generally the rule is that of course first you keep on marking one which you are very sure. Doubts hai, keep it for review. When you have finished all and when you have time, if you are able to eliminate two options, if you are able to eliminate two options and it comes to 50-50, yes, worth attempting the question okay and if you have never heard of the question or if you don't know any of the options then better to leave it alone Just like cricket mein hota hai har ball khelna zaruri nahi hota hai certain balls outside the off stump well left because your marks can go in negative okay so don't try to approach each and every ball and don't try to hit every ball out of the park okay now when if only one option you are uh, able to eliminate and three options you are still in your hand that is a risk which you want to take or not depends like if you're aiming for the toppers who take slightly take that risk and try to mark more answers uh, more questions a student who wants a good decent rank which is majority between 5000 to say 20k then it is not worth probably taking that risk because of course the risk of negative marking is there so try to finish the block in uh, 37 36 minutes and keep some time for review and once the first section is over Please don't carry the thoughts because certain section might be easy, certain sections would be difficult. When you move on to the next section, don't think of the previous. What is gone is gone. Okay, imagine the India and the famous World Cup victory which we had in the T20 World Cup. If the 14th over and the 15th over which were very bad, we all of us thought the match was over. If at that time the team only kept on thinking of those two overs, we wouldn't have won the World Cup. So Rohit Sharma said that 30 balls, 30 runs and he said the dialogue that abhi patch khatam nahi hua hai. So you need to keep that in mind that if one section thoda sa kam uh, hota hai ya one section mein aapka you feel your performance is not good let it not affect the uh, second section because it also depends on how you play the game on that particular day. Okay so be smart be wise in choosing yes risk lena hai but calculated risk will have to take and I have specifically for OBGY put my prediction video already prediction reel just go through that where I have set the list of important topics specific topics which for OBGY you can just quickly go through in the last 24 hours so that reel is already there and the last thing which I'm going to really tell you which is the power of positive thinking and today it's a start positive thinking absolutely no negative thoughts imagine that you have already inside the examination hall imagine you are giving all the sections imagine that the paper is super smooth super easy and imagining yourself that you are getting all answers correct and imagine yourself coming out of the examination hall jumping in joy and also imagine yourself on the day of the results getting the dream branch in your dream seat so all of you can close your eyes for a few seconds and say I am ready. Repeat after me I am ready and yes you will do very well. So wishing you all the best. You all will do very well and come out as a winner. Okay and yes you are ready.